Hey, welcome back, people. Standing ovation for another break of Artifacts. Box number four, 2122 Hobby Box of Artifacts number four. With up to three hits in every box, which means maybe two and an orum, but we won't go there. I got one orum out of three boxes, so, you know, you're going to get them. But, you know, we don't want orum. We want authentic game-used jerseys with blood, sweat, and tears on them, and autographs, and, and life stories behind them. So you got to collect a variety of hard-signed insert sets. That's what you got to do. And look for all new clear-cut artifacts, rookies, acetate cards. Well, I've been looking three hobby boxes in, and <clears throat> a number of uh, retail boxes, we won't go there. Um, but, you know, they're hard to find, apparently. Acetate cards are... The acetate material is just hard to come by. Anyway, let's see what box number four does for me. I think we've showed you this before, and... Oh, oh, there's a big white dot in the middle of there. I see the light. Sorry about that white dot. And let's try it this way. Nope. Maybe. Oh, well. Whatever. It's probably uh, not that important anyway. I'm going to... Oh, you know what I should do before we get into this? I should show you what I've got so far. Out of the three hobby boxes and... Um, okay. A number of retail boxes. Let's just say that. And I joined one group break on release day where I, I bought the Red Wings, and, yeah, I don't know, it was probably not really worth it. The highest priced team on the, in, the, in, the, uh, in the group break, it was a team select. And I got a couple of them, but it's funny, one of them I got was a duplicate that I pulled myself. So let's see what I did, though. The best one I got in that group break was right here. Mo, see, I, Mo Cider, Mo Cedar, Mo Cedar Emerald. Again, just an emerald, no autograph, number 93 and 99. Let's see if I can do something with this light. Hold on a second. I don't need a big... Halo, 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 halo. Um, no, that's still doing it, right? Sort of reflectish. And let's try it again. Sorry, bear with me, folks. Anyway, there you go. There's uh, cider. Uh, okay, and then here's what I've pulled so far. Again, so basically any Red Wings, except for the one Joey Valino, I hit doubles of, like, I, I don't know, it's numbered out of something, and I hit two of them. Actually, I've hit two doubles or two duplicates already of numbered cards, which is bizarre because they got like a trillion different colors and, and, uh, and yeah, and I hit the same ones. But I'm sure other people do too because four boxes in, you know, you're going to, or three in, and eh, you're going to hit a bunch of snot in there with good stuff. Anyway, let's go on. Quentin Byfield was the best one I pulled myself, 49 of 99. And then, of course, the retail break that, uh, Started it all here. Actually, it's probably my most successful video. It's that release day of Artifacts. I grabbed our retail instead of hobby for whatever reason. And everybody likes to see what retail, the crap that comes out of it. And sure enough, it produced quality crap, except for this one card, which somehow slipped into my hands. Um, so there's the three big rookies that have hit so far. And then I hit a case hit on my own, just out of a box. It was a random box that I got through uh, one of the dealers I buy from, uh, number 12 of 45. Uka Pekka Lukanen, or as I like to say, Uka Pekka Lukanen. And I also hit a horizontal rookie of them too, which is a parallel number to 399. Again, not super rare, but du dual rookie. Most of the dual rookies are vertical, and uh, this one's horizontal. So I've got the Uka, Uka Pekka Lukanen uh, collection started up. And then so after that, we just get into the regular colors all the different colors of the world. I got a Swayman rookie, so that's another good one to have. Um, so I got Swayman, I got Byfield, I got, let's keep them together. Uh, and then I got Caulfield with no numbering, because again, the rose gold parallels at a retail do not have numbers. They're really hard to get, almost one in every pack. Maybe you get two base packs, I think. Oh, one base pack in a box, so they're almost like every pack. Six, six rose golds in a box seven packs in a retail box but uh, let's stop talking about retail it's just nauseous uh then i got a patch uh the first box the very first box i opened was the just the base patch of ty smith not a rookie i thought it was for a sec then i remembered it's 22 20 well, 21 22 no it's 22 20 no this is 2021 i don't know what year it is nobody does anymore i got uh I uh, still haven't figured out which one this is. rainbow E Parallel. Uh, this is, again, from the group break. These are the Red Wings that came out of it. Number 299, I got Bertuzzi. 
I got Thomas Grease, number to 65, the pink parallel. I got a uh, ruby parallel, Philip Ronick, number to 499. I got a uh, royal blue parallel of, to number to 199 with Joy Valeno. Or again, a rookie, so there's another rookie I've hit. I know, and I hit one of these myself. I don't remember which one it was because I got 218 of 799, and I also now have uh, 408 of 799, both with red swatches and nothing spectacular there, but hopefully Joey Valeno turns out to be better than Cider and and Lucas Raymond, and I've got I got a good start on his uh, his, his his stock here. Yeah, whatever. Uh, then I got Jacob Bernard Docker again. This two ninety nine um, rainbowy platinumy. I don't know what you're gonna call it. It's kind of like the best one I like I, the most for whatever reason. I like these uh, holographic kind of reflective ones. Um, I also got Shane Pinto Ruby rookie. So I the third box I opened had tons of rookies. That's what I found. The first I don't I know I got rookies in every box, but the third one was like all rookies. It seemed like. Then I got, okay, these are just what I would usually call the base regular rookies because they're numbered at a 999 and they look just like regular foil, normal printing. I got uh, Lassie Thompson, Marcus Niemelainen, and Seth Jarvis. And I got a Wade Allison, um, I don't know what color, that's copper? I think it's going to be a copper parallel to 799, a dual jersey like the Villinos that are also copper or whatever color they turn out to be. And I got a, uh, again, going back to the retail, I got a Wade Allison. I just put that there because I had the jersey to go with them. Like I'm starting, a, I try to do the rainbow of Wade Allison. No, I'm not. I don't know. Uh, and then the jerseys I got were remnants of Fiala and Pasternak, which I guess, there you know, you get remnant jersey cards. Again, these are out of, actually, I, this is the one that I got out of a retail box. I actually hit a Pasternak jersey card in a retail box, if you can imagine that. Something other than a rose gold came out of a retail box. It actually did happen. You have to check my video for the proof of it, but it happened. It was incredible. Okay, Bjorkstrand, gold. This is the lowest numbered one I have, the gold parallel out of 50. But who knows? Maybe that's yellow. I don't know. Because gold parallel used to be out of 25, at least with artifacts. That's the way it used to be back in the day. Well, not even that long ago, because I know I pulled a... Ne uh, Nylander, um, William Nylander out of 25 and sold it like pretty quick when it first came out for like 125 US and I think that card's like the same value now as it was then but it's a real it was really good looking card numbered out of 25 anyway again I got doubles of Backstrom 48 and 24 I got a 2-4 and I got a 48 doubled them up and they're emerald um, I'm running out of spaces I got the ruby 499 of Palat and Yandel. I got, again, what I think is the base version regular of uh, Kopitar, Pasternak, and Dougie Gilmore. Again, this would have been Legends, and these would have been Stars. That's the way I see it. But they're out of five ninety nine, so I don't know what color you call them other than silver, but who knows. Um, so let's put them up there. And I'm almost out of space. Oh, and I keep hitting the camera with my boobs. I got man boobs, and they're hanging in there when I lean over. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm just kidding. I'm wearing, actually, a really baggy sweatshirt because it's getting colder. It's August. It's o October. Man. I'm like, holy cow, can you believe it? October already. Hockey season's almost here. It's a really good time of year. Outside, it feels fresh and awesome all the time. Okay, and then I got a 199. No idea what parallel this one is. Again, it kind of looks copper, but these are copper, and they're at a 799, so... Lord help me. But but then again, this isn't a rookie. So maybe, let's see. Let's do it side by side. Yeah, they are. They're the same color. Oh, I discovered something. So maybe it's the rookies are at a $7.99 and the veterans are at a $1.99. That's what I think's happened there. I would think, you know, why can't they just put what color it is printed on there? Like the gold parallel or the copper parallel or the fuchsia parallel or the whatever. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Okay, and the rest of the jerseys that I hit were, I had a Threads of Time, Tyson Berry. Again, another, some of these are cheesy cuts, too. Like I say, that one didn't even fill in the whole space. Neither did the Pasternak up here. They just give you, like, the outside part of the Kleenex. Or, I mean, uh, whatever. It's just the serviette. They are game used, but, you know, th that's about the smallest swatch. I mean, my pinky nail is bigger. Connor Hellebuck. 
is it? No, well, maybe my thumbnail. Yeah, my thumbnail and the swatch are about the same size. Hello, Buck, with the net gear. And the first and one and only Orion I pulled out of the third box, which is cool because I don't like these. I'm never going to do the whole set. Like, who would? Who's going to go around and rip open that many boxes to get that many orums? Because as I, as I understand, you got to get them all to be able to redeem them. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, and I've been overlooking it the whole time. And the other rookies I got from the, the uh, lovely retail ripping was Barbele, uh, Alex Barbele. I got Zach Jones. I got Grigory Denisenko. I got Kaylin Addison. I got Jacob Bernard Docker. And I got a Connor McDavid Rose Gold, which... I don't know. It's not numbered, but it is a parallel out of the retail, and not a lot of people are going to rip that retail because it is pure snot balls, and uh, so they'll want their McDavid, and eventually I'll get my eBay page up and running and put it up there, and it'll sell for, my guess is that'll be like a $10 card Canadian. But anyway, whatever. Let's go on and rip my last hobby box. Let's do that together, shall we? Is everybody sitting comfortably? Then let's begin. Okay, should I just leave this here? No, yeah. No, hold on a sec. I'm going to have to do like that Stradman magic. I watch car videos all the time, and he always does this. It's like you do the old, uh, except I can't time it right. I'll try it one more time. There, I did it. I don't know. Somehow I pulled that off. It's Terry Potter crap that I read, and I think it was the third book that showed me how to do that. Okay, that's the only magic trick I know, and it's not very magical, is it? Like, literally, i got to learn how to edit, because I I really want to present a better presentation. So anyway, whatever. I'm going on, and this is the only thing that matters now. Eight packs left. If I hit something big, I hope I do, because I've done okay, but I really haven't had any. Let's write home about this one, folks, because I've seen some really cool cards pop out of this already, and I've just seen people posting their really cool cards. And as the first product of the year, well, it's not even because it's 22 23 and it's 21 22. I don't know what to call it, but it's, I'm just due for a big one. I, I feel like I sense it coming. Now, I sense a lot of things, but let's just say I don't see a fatty in there. And it's, oh, maybe I do. Let's just do that again. Do you see a fatty? Are one of these things not like the other? Are one of these things not kind of the same? Okay, I, second time I've seen one that looks a little bit different. You know, I do have a weigh scale over there for my mail. I could probably weigh them out, but that's lame. I mean, that is so lame. I want to see it anyway. I don't care. I'm opening them all. Yeah, there's definitely one thicker pack in there. I don't know if it's a fatty. Actually, I've had enough fatties today already anyway, but this one's a little thicker, I think. Let's, let's save it. It's probably just a jersey card. Who knows what it is? It's probably nothing. It's probably a figment of my imagination. Figment. Hmm. I haven't said that word in a long time. Speaking of, I could use a fig newton. There's something else I haven't had in a long time. Are we looking good? Are, is everybody looking Is everybody feeling good today? Let's hear it. Come on. Good. That is good because I'm sitting here ripping packs and there's really nothing wrong in my life right now, which for the first time in a long time, that's pretty good to be able to say. Let's go on and see what happens in this break. No other cardboard in the middle. We've got, uh, oh, oh, it's already showing. Uh, huh. Carter Hart. Carter Hart. Carter Hart. Pius. Pius. Suter. Pius. 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 It sounds like a Roman name, like a gladiator. Pius the first or something. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. And Philip Forsberg again. Jake and Zuc Jake, Jason Zucker. I think these are, I don't know what these are. They're, again, I got to look. But the writing is so small. It makes my eyes hurt and gives me a nosebleed when I look at the box. But I'm sure you guys know already what color version that is. But that's my first parallel. Zucker, Penguins. It's like I'm doing a group break. Penguins, Zucker, uh, 299 Oh, Paul, Paul, you got the Penguins. Good for you, Paul. You've hit a Penguin card. That's why you bought them, I guess. So. Uh, I don't know, some of the group breaks are pretty lame, I've, I'm funny, and then, you know, all you want is cards, big ones, every time. Don't patronize me, just give me my damn cards. Sorry, I'm on here, and these are my cards, so I'm taking my time and enjoying this. Maybe a little more than I 
should. It's healthy. Sveshnikov. Oh, three card pack. It's, a, it's like a three card Monty. It's like the band Rush. There's only three of them. That means there's a jersey card. So I got Petrie hiding. Elias. My third remnants out of four hobby boxes, or two hobby boxes produced two remnants. Uh, two of them did not. One retail box produced a remnant. So I've gotten the most jerseys of NHL remnants. I don't know if that's supposed to mean something. How many there are, I don't know that either. But there's Elias, and I'm heading, headed west, so all the Canucks in the collection are likely ready for somebody out there when I get there. Uh, card shops a long way. Let's just leave them along the way as I say that. Because again, I'm headed west. I'm right now in the middle of Canada driving somewhere. Maybe I'm in BC by now. Don't know. Then I got to get on a ferry and get over there. But I have to stop in Vancouver and say hi to some people because I know people there. And then uh, maybe up near Whistler. I know some people up there. And I'll stop there. But then I'll get on a boat and I'll go across to the island and see my fam. John Klingberg. John Klingberg, paging Mr. Klingberg. I got a decoy card. I save a few more of those. I've ran out almost. I was running out of decoy cards. Tyler DeFoley. And our third, rem fourth remnants now. Kind of weird that I got two in a box. Let's hope one of them's like an SP. Maybe the Pedersen? Or would it be Latang? I doubt either one are. It's just randomness. It's the act of complete randomness that I got two remnants jerseys in a box. In a box. Why did I put John Klingberg here all by himself? Let's just do that. It's a tribute to John Klingberg tonight, folks. And the Kling man. Not even with Dallas anymore. So we'll just remember him back in the day. And if I get an Austin Matthews, it's going there because... Already the look that Klingberg's face has is creeping me out. Look at him. Can you focus? <laughs> Actually, you know what? Let's just move it away now. We're scaring the kids. Ty Smith. Dustin Brown. Here comes a rookie. Roman Josie. And it is... Alex Holtz. Well, he's supposed to be a good one. I don't know because I haven't seen any of his game. But Alexander Holtz is like, in one of the uh, sets I looked, he was like the Group A autograph. So it must mean he's worthy of something. Either that or they lost half of the cards he signed. Huh? Yeah, okay. Let's sleeve that puppy up because I got some penny sleeves. Whoops. Maybe I don't. I got team bags. I got, do I got, what do I got? I got a penny sleeve. Come out my penny sleeve. But I don't have any right here now, so that's it, folks. Penny sleeving is stopped. Ouch. Oops. Yeah, okay. Well, we don't need to waste everybody's time watching me just totally destroy cards. Look what I even found in the bottom of one of my drawers. I could never find these when you need them, the thick penny sleeves. And I, I went to, like, two hobby stores looking for them the other day. And I couldn't, they didn't have them. And then I came home, and when I found them in the back of the drawer, I was like, oh, I had them the whole time. I only needed, like, two anyway. Oh, hey, what's up with that? Getting me the, uh, I like the decoy on the back, actually. But does that mean I'm getting a three-card pack again? It sure looks that way. Maybe it's only a two-card pack. Mika Zabanajad. Another frickin' Remnants jersey. What's up with all the Remnants? And a Dylan Larkin, D-Boss, number 497-599. Artifacts, regular, good old Artifact Stars, or just the regular Parallel, or... I'm uh, still learning my different versions. Okay. Well, that's with my Holtz, like the same color version, 599 I think it's just the base, regular base. The Remnants jerseys are just coming aplenty, though. Again, that's three out of this box, and I had three already, or two already. I'm going to have to go for the set, folks. Probably like one jersey though that you can never find. I did that. What year of SP game used? I can't remember what it was. But they made one just random guy not have a jersey. And I didn't know till I had like 130 of them. And then I realized that you can't finish the set. God help me if I can't even remember what year that was and who the player was. It was like somebody random, like Miro Satan or somebody like Henrik Talenberger. I don't know. It was a Sabre or who it was. But it was just so frustrating to have every card and then realize. They never made the card, or they screwed up, and there's only like three available or something. 
I don't know what the deal was. But I sold them off. One at a time. There's Doody, Mr. Drew Doody. I got some weird thing peeking through there. And again, we've got Decoy. And there it is. Darnell Nurse. Uh, Mantha. And Autofax, Sam Reinhardt. No longer with the Sabres, but he spent a long time there, and maybe he'll retire there and go back there. But I believe he's with the Panthers now. Is he not? I believe. Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? Okay, well, that's the first auto I've actually hit out of the four hobby boxes that I've cracked open. Not that it's a super expensive high-end card. I don't think Reinhardt's an SP, but... And that goes back to bringing back memories. Jim and I was one of the first, we spot, I, I said I got group breaks. Uh, the first group break I went in was way back in 2014, 2015. And I bought the Sabres in a cup break. And I hit Reinhardt SP out of 99 in that break. And I was just like, oh, okay, cool. I, I didn't realize how hard it was to hit the SPs even at the time and how lucky I was just to randomly have the Sabres when, when the Reinhardt hit. The downside was, it was a nice three-color jersey too, but the downside was there's a big ding on the corner. Like, not the corner, like the top. There's a big chunk right out of the card. Poor SP quality. I mean, poor quality control even back then with upper deck. But it left a taste in my mouth that as low as it was a rare card, it was an SP. I still, I traded it away. Or I, yeah, I did. I bought, I got, I bought buyback rookie cards. Actually, and I still have one of them. Because um, I think I got four different 15, 16 U, UD buyback young guns. But uh, at any rate, I just, I should have hang, hung on to it. And, but like, I don't know, it was damaged. And I don't think Upper Deck would have traded it in. So who knows? Long story that really meant nowhere. So somebody got that card because it's out there. I, I traded it in at a show in Cambridge, Ontario. So I don't know. It's still in that guy's collection, but I don't think so. That guy used to have a shop in Toronto. A guy that he used to have, uh, what's the name of his store? Anyway, it's, I shouldn't reveal who it was anyway. Uh, Elias Lindholm, John Carlson, and another Emerald, which I think is the most common one I've pulled so far. I, this is my fourth Emerald. Two of them are rookies. Two, two of them are not. And actually, I, I hit the double duplicate of Backstrom. So anyway, Taylor Hall, Bruin, out of 99. And Hurdle at the back. Last pack, folks. Smoke them if you got them. Last pack. Last call for alcohol. I don't know where that came from. I've been in a bar at closing time for a long time. At least four hours. Oops, I'm sorry. Not four years. Morgan Riley. Thomas Grease. Uh, I used to have a boss that would always threaten if I didn't do something as he told me. He would come over and he'd fuck me up the bum with no grease. Sorry, excuse my French, but again, I have nobody watching, so I don't mind swearing from time to time. It's not appropriate, but that's what he said. You fuck me, I fuck you up the ass with no grease. That's what he would say. And it scared me because he was a big Italian guy and I think he might have done it. I don't know. Okay, that's my funny story for the day or rude story or entertaining story or hockey cards are my life and my life is kind of you know it's, it's hockey cards so there you go there's an eight pack eight box hobby box again um well again one of these i snuck in for whatever reason well no there was there was two inserts in the one box so i got nine inserts that's cool i i, I think that's all right but again no big banger no uh hard signed hall of time or whatever they call those ones that are like really cool ones oh well I'll keep on uh, collecting these and trading them, and if I can make a deal, I might buy some more, but new products coming out, by that ha time that happens, I probably won't buy any more artifacts, unless it's, like, cheap or even below what it came out as release price, which seems to actually happen a lot now. I've picked up um, stuff on resupplies that are lower than release price, which I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Maybe that's bad for the market. Anyway, folks, keep collecting. Standing ovation will be breaking more in the near future and i hope you like this and i hope you subscribe one day if you don't today maybe tomorrow or tell your friends they could subscribe everybody could subscribe i know there's subscribers out there that's just like click use the button you go click and you're subscribed just for no reason you could be subscribed it's free actually it's free today only so don't do it tomorrow do it now right now 
if you're still watching at this point anyway. Take it easy, folks. Standing ovation out!